Hi guys! Welcome back to Sri Lanka. To be honest with you, I didn't really want to come back here because everything that was here uh, when we left in April and everything that was going on here uh, in June, July, August, you know, all of these mess was making me very nervous. I had even a fight on a plane. Like I've never had any fights on a plane and I mean not like a fight you know but a quarrel with the guy who was sitting next to me it's all because of the nerves so when we came here we went out I thought it's gonna be empty there's gonna be no people because uh, on news they show it's like over you know it's over for Sri Lanka people are all like almost dying of hunger so we went out from the plane and this is what we saw. Everything seemed to be normal. The music was playing. It was very clean. It had a very good smell. There were a lot of people, a lot of foreigners. A lot of foreigners. Because when we were boarding to Colombo, there was like, I don't know, like 20 foreigners um, going with us. My boyfriend and I, we were like, what? <laughs> Why are they going there? And the things started, you know, to get better and better. I mean, my feelings uh, towards everything that was going on there, because as we were entering the city, we saw the cars, we saw how people were, you know, peacefully walking. Everything seemed to be okay. And even now, after two and a half weeks, it's still okay. It's still good, except for one thing. They still have the power cuts and the government said that these power cuts will increase. Now, they turn it off for about two and, two and a half hours. They say that they will have to increase it. I don't know uh, when they're gonna do it, but they said they will. I remember there was one day in all of these two and a half weeks that we were here, uh, when they turned off the power for the whole day because they had something to fix but we got so nervous that we're like okay we have to leave because you know it's it's very stressful to be with no power it's like when you sit even in kazakhstan right the life is so much better than here in sri lanka even though kazakhs complain a lot i also uh, used to complain a lot but it's very hard to understand how it is uh, until you get you know inside of this life and you live like locals so it was hard for us and we decided that no way we're not gonna go through this again with all of this power cut increasement and everything so we bought ourselves a ticket to Bangkok on the 24th of October and guess what as soon as we bought this ticket there was almost no power cuts uh, we have a house uh, we have a generator here in the house so by some miracle <laughs> they have diesel all all the time now uh, to turn on the generator so we almost uh, have the power for the whole day every day so I don't know what's gonna happen next but I hope this country will get out of this horrible situation We got our car, guys. It's very small, <laughs> but it's out of mat. I will show you. It's so small, but it will work. See, it's out of mat. This is how it looks. It was really easy, I must say. So you need to come to this place. Automobile Association of Ceylon. It's also close to Ramada Plaza, so you go Ramada and this one is here. You have to go up on the third floor and then first you come here. 
So in this place, you will fill in some forms. They will tell you to go and make a photo, which also located next to Ramada Plaza. You make that photo, come back to this association, pay money for your driver's license, and then wait for like 15, 20 minutes it to be ready. The car rent was $280, plus we paid $280 as a deposit, which we are supposed to uh, get when we give the car back. But all of the payments were made in Sri Lankan rupees, and uh, we're gonna get back that $280 also in Sri Lankan rupees. If you're not planning to stay in Sri Lanka after you give back your car, you would have to talk to the guys who you rent the car from how you're gonna manage because at $280 that's a lot you know and you will not be able to exchange it here because uh, if you didn't know uh, Sri Lanka is still in crisis they don't have dollars they almost have no effort so just keep that in mind because it's really important because what you're gonna do with almost $300 in rupees as you can see the car is pretty small but it does its work it's good enough however uh, it's been raining for the last uh, three four days it's been raining like crazy i'm going to show you now how we were going from here in Katia to Colombo so just make sure when you're gonna go somewhere far uh, there's not gonna be raining hard because this is what happened to us i was Terrified. We both were terrified, we were scared because Sri Lankan people, um, they have a very specific way of driving as anywhere else in the world. In Albania, for example, people don't care, they just like can go to the opposite streets, and, you know, just like almost smashing you, going in front, like towards you, you know, and in Sri Lanka, it's like a person in front of you but like in the left trough of you, decides to turn, he, tur he turns on uh, to, to, to show you, right? Uh, the fact that he's going to turn and he turns right away. So he doesn't wait, he doesn't like look. We had like two or three situations where we almost got uh, into the car accident. So be careful about that. Uh, as for the contacts, of this car rental, I think I shouldn't be giving it to you now because we still have the car and I have no idea how it's gonna end up for us. Uh, if there's gonna be any problems with the deposit, if uh, they're gonna give it back or they're gonna, I don't know, you know as soon as uh, we give the car, as soon as we get our money back, everything will be cool. I'm just gonna write down here in the descriptions for the video. That's all. That's how you uh, you know. <laughs> That's all for this video. I hope it was informative. I hope you enjoyed it. Please uh, don't hesitate to comment and write whatever opinion you have. Even if it's negative, uh, just write it down. Yeah, see you next time. Bye.